Hello and welcome back to the channel and I've grown a beard and if you're new to the channel you won't know any different anyway so if you are new to the channel thank you for taking the time to view this video and if you're a new subscriber thank you very much for subscribing it's much appreciated so I am down at the storage yard now and uh, I'm going to get caravan we did park gate ready for storage over winter time because we're not going out in it much and I'm going to give you my opinion on this. We used it up in uh, Scotland, so I'll give you a rundown of what I think of it. We'll see you in a bit. So, uh, as I say, if you're new to the channel, my name's Andrew and my wife's name's Karen. And that's why we call it Andrew and Karen's Adventures. And we call our caravan Duchess, which is a Chatsworth uh, 550 from uh, Glossop Caravans. And we've also got a Ford Cougar tow car, which is Ruby Red. So we naturally call it Ruby. It's now been just over a month and a half since we came back from Scotland. We haven't been out in the caravan since. We did intend to. Uh, we didn't really book anywhere but we thought this time of year we should get in somewhere <coughs> but unfortunately when i returned home i've been summoned for a jury service starting the 31st of october so that wrecked any plans and later on in november we've got uh, family business and collecting grandchildren from schools etc due to work commitments and in December, we've got uh, three grandchildren's birthdays. So we're not going to get much chance to get away in December neither. So it's going to be near enough 2023 before we get away again. Unless we manage to get a sneaky one away, I'm not sure. So what I want to talk about is really my opinion on this Sol Bio environmentally friendly ecological toilet fluid. Uh, I'm probably going to get slated for this because some people probably love it. Uh, I did everything it says, I clean, fully cleaned out the toilet cassette, I uh, flushed it out numerous times, stripped it down, cleaned it inside with my hands and everything, put this in, filled the toilet, the toilet cassette fully, left it 24 hours so it was spotlessly clean and we went away and when we got to site, I used this for the first time, put the recommended amount in, which I can't remember now, and I haven't got my reading glasses, which is stupid. But uh, it wasn't as strong a smell as what I thought. It weren't overpowering, but it smelled quite nice, actually, until we started to use the toilet. We usually you do like wheeze in the toilet and use the facilities for you know your number twos but uh, we did go to one or two sites where we hadn't got any toilet facilities and we did do number twos in the toilet and during covid times when you went away and you didn't want to really go in toilets and that we did use this which is one cam which is to squeeze your top there and you get definitely 40 doses out of that. I must say that smells a bit bubblegummy but uh, it keeps its fragrance and masks smells. Unfortunately in my opinion, personal opinion and Karen's opinion we weren't happy with this. We started to use more of it than what it says on the uh, instructions to try and mask the smell uh, after a couple of times using toilet when you've urinated in it it started to to us it started to smell a stale urine which isn't good uh, and when we did do some solids in the toilet it didn't uh, break down the solids as much and it didn't break, definitely didn't break down the toilet uh, tissue paper, toilet paper. And I used the cheapest, nastiest toilet paper you can do in caravan. Whereas this worked a treat, it broke down solids and everything else. So these cost about £10 some each, and I think I got two for 20 quid. So that's 80 shots. 
that would cost you twenty five ninety nine if you hadn't bought the first one, and uh, it cost, that cost me just oh, I think just under twenty two pound. It's free postage to your house, but I used a lot more than what it's recommended, and personally, I wouldn't buy it again. So that's my opinion on that. People may love it, and I may get slated for it, but that's my opinion on that. And no, I wasn't sent it as a to give you a review on it. That's my personal opinion. It was bought by my own money. Right, so I'm down here to uh, sort out and get everything ready. Just really for cold weather coming. Caravan's fully drained down. Uh, I've did a video many years ago on motor home draining down. So it's very similar to Caravan. We've done all that. We did all that when we come back. So physically go around and check everything I'll check battery levels I know smoke alarms beeping so that's uh, once battery sorted on that new battery in that but I'll do that when we uh, go away again and we'll just have a check round make everything sure everything's all right there's no uh, wet dampness anywhere because some of you eldest owners complain about these front windows leaking so uh, uh, we'll have a good look round and see how things go so if you want to join me, we'll have a look around Caravan and see how things are going. So what I'll do is just check uh, if solar panels keep it battery topped up. That's looking good. 14.2. That's looking really good for the uh, leisure battery. So I'm happy with that. Smoke alarm batteries uh, once uh, changing. So I'm happy with that. Right, so we'll start in bedroom. I always leave my blinds half and half. So I've got my fly screen half and half. Doors open, cupboards open, etc. I suppose we ought to leave shower head open. Shower open. That's been all drained down, so I'll leave that on floor. Taps open half and half, just in case we have got a bit of residue water in the park work. Uh, mattress pulled back. A from the back wall and drawers left open just to get some airflow through so that's in the uh, bedroom in the toilet so I need to open that cupboard door just to give us a bit of air in there and something had to fall out didn't it <sighs> I've forgotten. I should have left this slide open on the toilet. And I think I'm going to take my toilet cassette home and wash that out. I don't show you in there. That's from using that uh, fluid. Yes, definitely going to take that home and wash it. So, a couple of doors open there. We always store as aqua roll in there. The natural ventilation through there anyway. Right, so we're moving to the front of the caravan, kitchen area. Like I say, uh, we'll leave the uh, microwave door open. Taps, taps are open half and half. Again, that's all been drained down when we come back from Scotland. Just going to pull, I just sat down there anyway while I was doing videos. So I'm going to pull all them cushions away, similar to that. So we get an airflow route cushions. All cupboards are open. All kitchen units and fridges propped open. I always keep these stored down here. Just let air flow around the uh, caravan and that. I've just, like I say, I've just got to sort them cushions out because that's where I sat to do the video. And all in all, everything's looking good. There's uh, no sign of any dampness or anything. It's smelling nice and fresh. So TV, I'll probably take that home with me, but I haven't got the car today because Karen's at work. So I'm going to take the TV home so you don't get any dampness in it. And I'm going to take that toilet cassette home and give it a good clean. Uh, I didn't realise it was uh, that mucky in there. So that's probably another reason why I'm not going to use that uh, Sol Bio as well. But uh, some people rave it, but personally, I won't be using it again. 
I prefer to buy the uh, one chem which is environmentally friendly as well so uh, apart from that I'm all right so what we'll do is have a quick look outside and I'll explain what I'm going to do over winter time while we're not using it which is just moving caravan forward to a different position and back to a different position to uh, get the tyres in a different position so we'll go outside and have a look right so here we are down at uh, storage yard like I say it's uh, it's a month and a half now since we last went out in it due to uh, what I said earlier on in the video so what I've done is physically lifted my front end up so water doesn't come over at front windows and we've had some real good downpours and hopefully the water runs down the back so what I'm going to do as well I've unlocked everything here so I'm going to while it's in storage just shuffle backwards and forwards and put the wheel tires and wheels in a different position so all in all everything's not too bad outside actually it's uh, not looking too mucky what I'm going to get is some of those uh, awning protectors just to stop water running down outside and uh, causing black streaks you can see more water's run off this side at the top there you can see so angle I've got it at it's running off the back corner here because we are sloped a bit that way as well so but all in all say a month and a half and we've had some real good downpours it's fairly clean oh and I uh, store the caravan with the uh, handbrake off as well so it don't uh, stick on the handbrake over winter time so all in all I'm quite happy since it's a uh, month and a half since I've been down to check on it we've had some very high winds and some very wet weather so we'll go back in and finish off right so I've brought cushions how I normally put them now so I'll show you how I put them so there's plenty of airflow around them <laughs> It looks like it's been ransacked, ransacked kind of random to it. But that's how so there's plenty of airflow around cushions and that. So there's nothing against the walls and that. So if you've made it this far into the video, uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, me and Karen's got lots of other plans. We're working what we're going to do in 2023. And it's our Ruby wedding anniversary year as well. So we've got some trips planned and it's not in caravan so in May we're doing a Norwegian fjord cruise from uh, Southampton that's for seven nights and in June Karen's just booked a tour of Croatia that's flying out to Croatia and stopping in hotels and uh, coaches taking you to places in Croatia so it's different for us and September we are looking to go to France but I'm still doing my own work whether it's going to be cheaper to, to drive there without towing a caravan and stop in the Euro camp uh, chalets or whether it's cheaper to tow the caravan there and stop on sites there. So I'm doing my own work on that one, but uh, I've got plenty of time to sort that out because there's no prices come out for uh, campsites anyway. You can, you can get your Euro camp prices, but you can't get your uh, pitch prices on any of the sites in France yet. So I've got that to do, plenty of own work to do on that one. So if you have liked what you've seen and you haven't got too bored of listening to me ramble on, please consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. And if you are considering subscribing, please click that little notification bell down there. It'll tell you when we've uploaded some more videos. And like I say, I've got lots of videos coming up on the channel, which will keep us going through till 2023 from a Scotland trip. So I'd like to say thank you for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bye.